So, I read this book called Zig Zag Zen, um, I don't know, maybe last year or the year before. Um, and because I'm interested, two of my interests are Zen and psychedelics, um, or Buddhism and psychedelics, and um, yeah, there was a book on it saying, um, because, well, the, the way I got into Buddhism was actually through my interest in psychedelics, I remember, uh, you know, searching for, like, YouTube videos, and then I found that it turns out people that are interested in psychedelics are also interested in spirituality, so, um, yeah, there's, I'm sure there's plenty of people that are like me that are interested in both, but then um, there are, you know, there are some people that don't think um, you can you can take both paths, basically, um, in Buddhism specifically, uh, because one of the kind of precepts, there, there are certain precepts that like people should follow, certain behaviours, um, do not kill, do not steal, do not lie, do not do not cheat or for monks have sex at all um, and then also another one is don't take intoxicants or don't get drunk and um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to come out and say that I think they are they can be compatible psychedelics taking psychedelic drugs and being a Buddhist um, one is that this precept um, one is that with the precepts there's an absolute level and a relative level so the relative this is the in Buddhism there's two truths so um, with the on an absolute level basically like nothing is happening happening there's just emptiness so you can't break the precepts basically so all of that is just it's whatever and just if you do sales and then you know everything is just complete and happening anyway but even on a relative level um i see a lot of ambiguity with it i've seen don't sell into intoxicants don't sell alcohol don't consume alcohol don't uh, consume intoxicants um, so obviously if it's just specific to alcohol, then yeah, psychedelics is fine, consume all you want. If we're looking at intoxicants though, even that word, intoxicants, like what does that mean? Like, there are, there are clearly different levels of drugs, also the effects that a drug has is different depending on the, on the dosage. For example, like green tea is a drug, like it has caffeine, so it's gonna, you know, stimulate you and stuff, but clearly like drinking, Drinking some green tea, I mean, apparently, like, Bodhisattva did it, and uh, to kind of, you know, it helps you with meditation and stuff. So I think that's the key, it's like, why are you doing it? So, you know, like, I, I think it's okay to live a moderate life, and if you want to, you know, do things moderately, drink moderately, take drugs moderately, just recreationally, I think that's, you know, I think that's kind of your choice, and as long as it's not affecting your life in a negative way. Um, obviously, like, psychedelics aren't something to fuck around with, like, they're you know, you've got to respect them and, and uh, they'll, you know, they'll respect you back. Uh, but I just think, you know, like, uh, I think it seems to me that psychedelics and spirituality, what they serve a role and that is like, they are, they allow you, basically, they flatten the plane that is your mind and you can make connections and some of them are just paranoid and useless, but some can help you find answers and be really creative. So uh, I think it's a really valuable tool and it kind of instigates the path for a lot of people. But it doesn't mean you have to follow the path the whole way, and you just see it. So many, so many Buddhist like teachers that are teachers now, like they, you know, that's how you know they all did it. So I don't think, I don't think there should be a Buddhism where they're like, yes, take a new kind of Buddhism where they're like, yeah, psychedelics do it, and um, but I could think it can be part of like a kind of psychology and yeah, just part of an inner journey and. Uh, I think especially when you're starting out, it's good to experience different things, you know, try out all different kinds of religions, learn about all religions, and then eventually, whatever your heart tells you to follow, that's that's what you've got to follow. So, yeah, and I think Ramdas would agree with me as well. Like later on in his life, he would say that he w he wouldn't take psychedelics so much, and even if he did, it would be more of a celebration than anything, um, which I think is a really nice sentiment. So, yeah, I wouldn't follow too much people that are really like strict and you know don't do this. Just, uh, I think as well, the more you get into a practice, the less you kind of want to do um, kind of crazy high peak experiences. You just your practice becomes this satisfying thing that you just rely on a lot. So yeah, that's my that's my opinion on the matter, and yeah, be interested to hear other opinions.